And welcome to this podcast. Uh, today we're going to discuss uh, how to connect from our MacBooks to our uh, routers so we can actually get communication with them. So most of my labs I'm going to use simple Cisco routers like a 1700 series. You can see on the back that we have certain ports for consoling in. So there's a console port and then you also have an uh, auxiliary port if you want to set that up. But most of the time you're going to use this console port. You also notice that there's a few other ports on the back of these routers. You have your serial ports, and this is expandable. There's a bay for that. And then you have usually a fast Ethernet port. So a lot of this stuff's going to be pretty simple. Um, basically, this uh, podcast is on console in. So being able to connect your MacBook to this console port. So to do that, you need a serial cable. A lot of these require a serial connection. And you can get a USB to serial converters. Uh, I think this is a cable's limited or something like that. We'll basically just uh, search for a USB to serial uh, cable and then you're going to need your uh, connection the rest of the way so a lot of times you can find a Cisco part that's basically a serial on one end and then it's a rollover cable to connect into the console port now if you don't have one of these cables uh, you can get yet another adapter but basically it's a standard serial port to an RJ45 if you get one of these, all you have to do is make a rollover cable. So, rollover cable, it's just a standard cable, but except for one end is rolled over. It's completely opposite. Um, but if you get that, so you plug this into your one connector, your USB to serial, and then from the rollover to the console port. Now, uh, the next part is basically getting your uh, setup. Now, you can use programs like Xterm and that kind of stuff, but what I'm going to use is just a terminal and I'll show you how. So I'm going to go up to my spotlight, search for terminal, and open that up. And I'm going to look for my device. So if I do an ls forward slash dev slash tty dot star, you're going to see that I have my Bluetooth modem and a PDA sync. And that's what not what I need. And this is because I don't have my device plugged in. Another reason for this would be if you didn't have your driver installed correctly. So when you're installing these, make sure you get your driver installed, and when you install it, you'll see the actual device appear. So let me get mine plugged in real quick. And I'll go ahead and plug that into a console of router that I have plugged in. And if I do my upper arrow key to run that same command again, the ls dev tty dot star, now you see I got this USB serial and I just need to take down a note of what that device is. Uh, once I have that device I can basically run a screen command and I have this set up in a file so it's really easy for me to access so if I do a nano you can see the command right there it's screen and then forward slash that um, device and 9600 for 9600 baud and that's it. It's uh, really easy to do. Um, once you save this file, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, control X out of here. Uh, I didn't come up the way I wanted to. You should see that it is runnable. It's a green. So if I type ls, I must be in the wrong bash. I'm not seeing any color codes. Um, on Linux you can definitely see those. Um, but on the Mac, I'm not seeing the color codes, but it is runnable. And to run it, again, a reminder, it's chmod plus x, and then uh, whatever the file name you call it. I called mine, uh, I called mine cisco.sh. It's a Cisco shell command. It's a real simple shell command. Uh, you saw the code in there. It was basically just running that one command. And now if I ever want to use it, I just do dot slash cisco, and I can do uh, ci and then tab on mine to get the rest of the command. And I got some junk. But I need a password for my router. And you see I'm in my router. And I can basically do any commands I need into the console in there. Uh, now to get out of this, it's a little more complicated. So to get in, you open up your terminal, type the command of your shell, and then you're in. Uh, to get out, you have to do a control backslash. 
um, my bad, control A, then control backslash. So remember control A for all, then control backslash and it says, do you really want to quit? Say yes. And then you're back to your command prompt. And I'll go ahead and put those up on a text edit real quick. So to get out, it's a control plus A, and then a control plus the backslash key. So uh, I should have used something bigger than that, but you can see that. Um, so control A, control backslash. That'll get you back out. And that's all you need to do to console into your uh, port. So I hope this was helpful, and thank you.